Hey everybody, this is uh, Jim at sp500chart.com <clears throat> using time order techniques to understand modern markets featuring daily technical analysis videos of the S&P 500 index. Guys, I've got a cold today, so bear with me. Uh, please read this. It says that the website and the video were just for educational purposes, only my opinion. Don't take my word for anything. You need to do your own research and invest according to uh, your own financial situation. I'm not a licensed financial professional, just a guy who draws lines on charts. It's funny, when my voice gets this way, I feel, uh, I feel like uh, I sound like Chris Berman on ESPN. Pick, 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 it's gone! But anyway, today we uh, broke the uh, rising trend line that we've been using to define uh, this rising wedge. And it broke as one would kind of expect it to break. It, it breaks and then it's a significantly down day. And it points uh, during the day, well, we were down, oh, under 1360. Now, <clears throat> there's a couple things to consider here. First, first thing is this really happened sooner than I would have uh, liked, but uh, I know I don't get. They don't ask me, and I don't get to vote. Neither do you. So it is what it is. The market closed above this line that I am considering as a potential neckline in a head and shoulders pattern. And this would be a standard head and shoulders, not a, not an inverted pattern, standard head and shoulders that would set up a back test uh, or set up a test, shall we say, of some support levels, uh, probably in the low 1300s. Now, um, since it broke, but only temporarily, and we closed above this line, I am not yet going to call that a broken trend um, because we've seen where at times things get a little squirrely and and moves sometimes take things out of range just a bit so uh, I'm not calling this broken quite yet um, I would expect still and 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 really, it would be great if we got some symmetry out of this. If indeed we're dealing with a head and shoulders pattern, I would, I would love to think that we're going to spend a month or so on this right shoulder, as we did on the left shoulder, um, because that would do two things. And and I pointed it out in the in the weekend video is, the first thing it would do, is that it would give us more time for that pattern to form. It would give us more time to kind of gauge the markets. And then secondly, the further this happens down the road, then the more the downside target would line up with the spot where we're expecting a bounce. So that's kind of what I'd like to see happen, but who knows? We, know we, just, gotta, just, we just have to follow it together. Um, so since we are <laughs> above this line, What's interesting about today is I do not know <clears throat> whether we call this a legitimate bounce that we came down, tested that neckline area, and now went a little below it, then came up and closed above it, and now we're going to go back and back test this blue line somewhere, or is this move... Uh, off that bottom that was a hit pretty early in the day, is this going to play like a bear flag? If it plays out like a bear flag, then then we will be taking this line out in earnest and will likely be uh, uh, selling off down into the 13, 1340s over the next couple of days. But I'm going to reserve that call for when this line is taken out in earnest. I'm not totally convinced that today that we consider this a, a, a well, we really can't because it recovered back into the pattern. <clears throat> so, let's see 
if maybe this right shoulder starts to form and starts to behave a little bit like that left shoulder did with a lot of um, noodling around, a lot of meandering, because I could see potentially uh, a legitimate bounce on this line and then maybe we come up and test this line, head up to the 1390s again, then come back down and by then maybe that line is ready to actually break and do something. But right now I'm, I'm kind of reserving judgment on whether or not we broke the neckline in any techni technically significant way today. Um, but still, watch this, because if this plays as a bear flag, then then there's going to be, you know, probably a loss of another 20-something points uh, minimum at some time over the next few days. So look, that is the video for today. I'm going to give my voice a rest. And uh, thank you for watching. If you're a subscriber, thank you for being a subscriber. Um, and if you're not, just think about it. You'll be If you're not a subscriber, you will not be seeing this video on uh, April 23rd. You'll be seeing it on the 25th. So just think about it. I'd appreciate it. Take care.